Um, okay, so this one says one of the graphs below is that of y equals a times sine theta for theta between 0 and 2 pi. I just recognize that decimal is 2 pi, where a is a constant. So it looks like if they are talking about the sine graph, you would need to know that sine looks like this. The important part of that is that it goes through the origin like this, going up through the origin. And then the only difference between what I graphed here and their equation here is they put some number in front of sine. But what is that going to change? Well, it is a number. We just don't know what the number is. Oh, okay. A is a constant. So it would change the amplitude, right? So this isn't necessarily going up to 1 and down to negative 1 because we don't know how big A is. But the only one of these graphs, like this one doesn't go up through the origin correctly, so that's not a sine graph unless it was shifted left or right or something, and this one's not. This one is, but this guy's period has changed, and period is 2 pi over B, and this equation B is 1, so the period's supposed to be 2 pi, which so that period's off for choice C. And then choice D, same thing, it's not going up through the origin, which can be fine if you're shifting it right or left, but based on this equation they gave me, they're, not, they're saying it's not being shifted right or left. So only choice A goes through the origin like this, and it looks like they made AB3 for the amplitude, but we just needed to be able to narrow it down. There's a plain, plain sine graph, but they may have changed the amplitude, so only choice A for that. Any other questions about this number two while it's still up?